I want to now simplify a complex fraction. Now when you look at this problem at first, it may not look like a complex fraction. However, first thing we're going to do is get rid of the negative exponents. And once again, because we have two different terms in the numerator, when I get when I take the y minus 1 and make that a positive exponent, I do not move it to the bottom of the whole fraction, but instead I just move it to the bottom of its own fraction. So y to the minus 1 equals 1 over y, x to the minus 1 equals 1 over x, and then for the denominator, xy, that quantity, to the minus 1 would be 1 over xy. Now let's talk about complex fractions. The whole idea of complex fractions are that we want to have one denominator over one denominator. If we have one denominator over one denominator, then we can fairly easily simplify that by taking the top fraction and multiplying it by the reciprocal of the bottom fraction. But we can only do that if we have one fraction over one fraction. Now when we look at our current problem, if I look at the bottom or the denominator, I have one fraction. So the denominator is good to go. However, when you look at the numerator, it is not one fraction. It's two fractions. So I'm going to have to go off to the side and actually add together 1 over y plus 1 over x. So now we have to remember how to do our adding fractions when you don't have the same denominator. We have to find the LCD, which would be xy. So now to convert this first fraction, multiply the top and the bottom by x, and you get x over xy. The second fraction, you need to multiply by y over y, end up with y over xy. And now we have two fractions with the same denominator. So we can now go ahead and add them. You write the common denominator and then you add the numerators, x plus y. So now, if I go back to my complex fraction, I can replace 1 over y plus 1 over x with this x plus y over xy. And then all that is over 1 over xy. Okay, so now I have one fraction over one fraction. So at this point, it's pretty straightforward. You take the top fraction and you multiply it by the reciprocal of the bottom fraction. And now, in order to simplify, we look to see if anything cancels out at the top and the bottom. And it looks like I have a factor of x and a factor of y on the top, and a factor of x and a factor of y on the bottom. So the x's cancel, the y's cancel. By the time I'm done, I'm left with x plus y over 1, which I just write as x plus y. So now we have simplified that complex fraction.